Have you ever found yourself pondering the mysterious ways in which stock investors make their high-stakes decisions? Are you wondering about the secret sauce behind their ability to gauge the potential of an investment? Well, folks, today we're unveiling a critical piece of a puzzle at the heart of their decision-making playbook, the risk-reward ratio. In this video, we will break down the risk-reward ratio, how stocks investors use it to evaluate investment opportunities, and why it's essential in your investment toolkit. So, if you're ready to level up your investing knowledge, stick around because this will be an informative ride. But before we jump into it, hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you will never miss any of our valuable content. And if you find this video helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up. It helps our channel grow. All right, folks, no more waiting around. Let's jump right into the action. My friends, the risk-reward ratio is a key player in investing. It's like the GPS that helps you navigate the often unpredictable terrain of financial markets. But what exactly is it? Simply put, the risk-reward ratio measures the potential reward an investor can earn for every dollar they're willing to risk on an investment. It's a way for us to assess the expected returns of an investment against the amount of risk we must take to get those returns. Now, let's break this down further with an example. Imagine you're considering an investment with a risk-reward ratio of 1 is to 7. What does that mean? It means that for every $1 you're willing to risk, you can earn $7 in return. This is a good sign because it suggests that you're taking on less risk for the possibility of a significant gain. Now, how do traders use this concept in the real world? They employ the risk-reward ratio to make informed decisions about trades. Here's how it works. Traders calculate this ratio by dividing the amount they could lose if the price of an asset moves in an expected direction. That's the risk. But the profit they expect to make when they close their position. That's the reward. Firstly, they use stop loss orders to limit potential losses. This nifty tool automatically sells an asset if its price starts moving against it, helping to protect its investment. Secondly, investors employ derivatives like put options to manage risk. These options provide a safety net by allowing them to sell an asset at a predetermined price no matter how low the market goes. Here's the fascinating part. The optimal risk-reward ratio isn't one-size-fits-all. It varies depending on your trading strategy. Calculating this ratio involves two main components, the expected return and the potential loss. For the expected return, you can use various methods. Some project historical returns into the future, others estimate weighted probabilities of future outcomes, and some rely on models like the capital asset pricing model. To estimate potential loss, investors use a multitude of techniques. They may analyze historical price data using technical analysis, assess company financial statements with fundamental analysis, or employ models like value at risk or VAR. These methods help identify factors impacting an investment's value and estimate the potential downside. What does the risk-reward ratio tell you? First and foremost, the risk-reward ratio is your guardian against losing money in trades. Even if you've had some profitable trades, here's the catch. You can still end up in the red if your success rate falls below 50%. So it's not just about making money, it's about making it consistently. Now let's go down to the nitty gritty. How is this ratio calculated? You ask. It's all about measuring the difference between the trade's entry point to the stop loss level and the sell or take profit order. When you compare this two, it unravels the critical relationship between potential profit and the risk you're undertaking. In simple terms, it's your reward versus your risk. Now, here's where it gets exciting. How can you actively manage your investments and keep that risk-reward balance in check? 
Enter the mighty Stop Loss Order. This is a game changer. It's like having a safety net for your investments. You set a trigger on a stock that automatically sells it from your portfolio if it hits a specified low. And the best part? It's super convenient. You can set this stop loss orders right from your brokerage account, and it usually doesn't come with the hefty additional trading costs. Examples of the risk reward ratio in action. Let's start with a practical example clarifying the risk reward ratio. Imagine you're a trader and you decide to make a move on XYZ company's stock. You purchase 100 shares of XYZ company at $20 per share. But here's where it gets interesting. You're not flying blind. You're using the risk reward ratio to ensure your investment is strategic. First, you place a stop loss order at $15. This means you've capped your potential losses at $500. Here's another exciting part. You believe that XYZ company stock will skyrocket to 30 in the next few months. Let's crunch the numbers together. When you decide to close the position, you're willing to risk $5 per share to gain $10 per share. In simple terms, you're putting $5 to double your money potentially. This translates to a 1 is to 2 risk reward ratio for this specific trade. But guess what? There's more to the story. Derivative contracts like put contracts can be superheroes in managing risk and optimizing the risk reward ratio. These contracts give you the right to sell the underlying asset at a specified price. It's like having an insurance policy for your investments adding an extra layer of protection. Now, here's where it gets even more intriguing. What if you prefer different risk-reward ratios, say 1 is to 5, 5 units of expected return for each additional unit of risk? In that case, you can modify your stop-loss order to achieve your desired ratio. But here's the crucial point. By doing so, you are altering the probability of success in your trade. For example, let's say you adjusted your stop loss order to $18 instead of $15 while still targeting that $30 profit taking exit. You've reduced the potential loss but also increased the likelihood of the stop loss order getting triggered because it's now proportionally closer to your entry point than the target price. How to calculate the risk return ratio? You need to perform a simple division to determine the risk-return ratio. You divide the amount you stand to lose if your investment doesn't perform as expected. That's the risk. But the amount you stand to gain, if it does, that's the reward. And here's a formula that makes it crystal clear. The risk-return ratio balances what you could lose and gain from an investment. You might be wondering why this ratio is so crucial in investing. The risk-return ratio is your compass in the financial wilderness. It helps you assess whether your potential investment is worth pursuing. A lower ratio suggests the potential reward is greater than the potential risk, make it an attractive opportunity. Conversely, a higher ratio indicates the opposite, more risk than reward. Investors can make well-informed investment decisions by understanding and utilizing the risk-return ratio. It allows you to weigh the pros and cons, analyze potential outcomes, and align your investment choices with risk tolerance. Can the risk-return ratio change over time? The risk-return ratio as we know it isn't set in stone. It's dynamic, just like the financial markets themselves. But how does it change? Imagine you've invested in a stock. The potential reward seemed enticing when you first bought it, and the risk appeared manageable. But guess what? Market conditions evolve, and so does the stock price. Here's where it's getting interesting. If that stock price goes up, the potential reward might not look as juicy as when you bought it. Meanwhile, the potential risk could increase too. Think of it like this. When you bought the stock, you got it in a lower price, and the growth potential seemed higher. 
as it climbs, the room for massive gains diminishes and the chance of a significant pullback may rise. Regularly monitoring your investment is paramount. As the risk-return ratio changes with market dynamics, you must adapt your portfolio accordingly. This ensures that your investment aligns with your financial goals and, most importantly, your risk tolerance. But why does this matter so much? Because adapting to these changes can be the difference between success and disappointment in the world of investing. Ignoring these risk-return ratio shifts could lead to unexpected losses or missed opportunities. So how do you determine the right ratio for your portfolio? It all boils down at your risk tolerance and investing goals. What are you comfortable with and what are you trying to achieve? These factors should guide your decision making. And here's where the strategy comes into play. Diversifying your investment using protective put options and implementing stop loss orders can be powerful tools to optimize your risk return profile. The risk reward ratio is your guiding star in the grand investment scheme. It helps you navigate the complex world of financial decisions, ensuring that you make calculated choices aligned with your objectives. And that brings us to the end of our exploration of the risk ratio. We hope this journey through the risk assessment and management world has enlightened and empowered you. In the ever-changing landscape of finance, knowledge is your greatest asset. Stay informed, stay safe, and remember that smart decisions begin with understanding. If you've found value in this video, hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. That way you'll be the first to know when we release more informative content. We always welcome your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Your input fuels our discussions and we love hearing from you. Thank you for joining us today. Check out more videos about mastering the mind, the psychology of trading and investing, and insights from Dr. Brett Seambarger. These videos will reveal the hidden aspects of the psychology of trading and assist you in acquiring the mindset of a successful trader.